This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favourite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Okay, I wanted to make this video because I was dialing this in the other day and I thought it was quite a cool kind of concept and the idea really is to be blending uh, a Fender Twin Star Lamp with a Vox AC30 Star Lamp and uh, so I'm going to go through the preset and maybe explore some of the options a little bit um, and just share all of the settings with you. Uh, leave a comment below if you want me to drop this into the folder as well, but um, yeah, if you use the Gumroad link you can get access to my folder, Google Drive folder where I have hundreds and hundreds of tones and uh, yeah, you might find a couple in there that you actually like. So, straight up we've got nothing going into the, the deluxe comp compressor, I think this compressor uses the least DSP, threshold at minus 24.7 dB, ratio 3 to 1, attack 38 release 200 milliseconds, mix 56, level plus 8, knee plus 6. Then we're going into a Y split. Um, if you don't know how to do this, press action and move something down to path B. So that's how you create a split. So first up we've got the US double norm. So this is the normal channel of a Fender Twin. That would be the one without reverb and without vibrato I think. Drive at 5.3, bass at 5, mids at 5, treble at 5, presence at 0. And then I think I might have changed the bias to 6. I'm not sure. Maybe I didn't. No, I didn't. Then I've got the 2x12 double C12N. So that's the stock speaker with the 57 dynamic cap edge. And bringing the high cut down to 8 kilohertz. Aside from that all stock settings 
Okay, then we're going into the matchless DC30 channel 1. So this is like an AC30 style thing. The drive at 4.7, base at 5, cut at 0, treble at 7.2, presence at 0, channel volume at 7.8, master at 10, sag at 5.8, bias at 0.5. I think that is different stock. Then we're going into the basket weave style cab, 47 condenser, 6.4 away, and then using a 7.4 kilohertz high cut. What that gives us is quite a lively clean, which is sort of bright and full. Another thing that I've got going on, I've got a tremolo, quite a fast tremolo on the Vox channel. Uh, so 5.1 hertz, 4.7 intensity, sine wave, and that's all there. And then I've got a slight bit of panning. So A goes left 15, B goes right 15. And after that, I've got an EQ. You can hear what that's doing here. <laughs> What this is doing is essentially boosting the lower end a little bit for a bit more rumble frequencies, cutting a few of the sort of more throaty mids, minus 2.3 at 250, and minus 1.9 at 500 hertz, and then boosting again one kilohertz, and then taking off some of that high end stuff as well. So. Then we're going into the dynamic plate, an 8.8 .8 second decay, 15.2 kilohertz damping, and mixed 19%. Now, we could actually use a less intensive delay. DSP-wise, glitz might be a better option. And then we could make use of some delay if we wanted to. So, something like... Let's have a look. A dual delay, even, is probably fine. Um. What that tremolo kind of does is sort of even evens out a little bit the kind of the vox side of things so it's a bit less spiky because you've got Another thing we could do is get rid of this delay, if we clear that, and maybe even stick a tube screamer, hopefully we can run one of these, uh, in front, and then this might even... That's something else that you could do, but if I'm using the dynamic plate, I sort of run out of DSP quite quickly. I guess another thing you could do instead of the matchless channel one, you could also use the fawn, and this should be relatively similar sounding, um, but have less DSP. Uh, so I was using, what was it, 412, this one, and 47. Something like this potentially could work as well and we could probably still get a drive pedal.
I've got a few options there. Maybe you can. But yeah, give that a try. Quite a nice little clean tone. Uh, I'll drop that into the folder if uh, a couple of you leave a comment asking me to. And uh, I'll see you in another video soon. Feel free to like and subscribe. Some really cool Fender Twin and Vox style tones.